All right, boys and girls, uh, hope you're doing well. We're gonna continue with the video that we started last time. Okay, this is video two. Um, so here we are, we did 48 minus six and I asked you to represent 48. So you should have already had this done. Okay, now we're gonna subtract six. So to keep track of how much we're subtracting, we're gonna write it right here, minus six, okay? Um, so not, not, this is not one of the more challenging problems. Um, all we have to do is take away six of the ones, right? So let's take away one, two, three, four. Let's pretend these are um, these are like uh, candies, like um, like Skittles, right? We just took away four Skittles, five Skittles, six Skittles. Okay. So how many Skittles do we have left over? Well, we took away six. Okay, we did that. And now we still have two left over. And we still have all these Skittles. Now, how many Skittles are over here? Okay, so here's what I want you to think about. In this, this is a bag of, or like a little package of 10 Skittles. You can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, there's 10 Skittles in here. All right, uh, it's a green bag. All right, they're yellow inside, but it's a green bag. What can I, what can I tell you, all right? So we've got one bag of 10, two bags of 10, three bags of 10, four bags of 10 Skittles. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40 Skittles. So we still have, after taking away six Skittles, right, we still have 42 left over. So 48 minus six equals 42. 40 and two makes 42. Okay. Um, I think we got that down pretty well. Let's move on to uh, a situation that's a little bit more challenging, okay? All right, so check this out, boys and girls. I want you to watch me for a minute, and I'm going to give you one to try, okay? So this time I have 42 minus 6, not 48. All right, I have 42. So four tens and two ones. Four bags of 10 Skittles and then just two loose Skittles. And I'm going to subtract 6, okay? Now, what's different, though, about this is what? What's different about it than the last problem? Something is definitely different about this than the last one, which is what? Yeah, we can't, we don't have enough loose Skittles to subtract, right? I could take away two, but where am I going to get more Skittles, right? So let's say that, um, let's say that I have 42 Skittles and I want to give, um, I want to give one of my sisters six Skittles. Because she's like, hey, can I have six Skittles? I'm like, sure, I'm a, I'm a nice big brother. Why not, okay? Um, so the question is, where are those Skittles going to come from? So here's the thing, boys and girls. What I want you to remember, this is really super duper, super important. Like crazy important. It's going to be really important, not only for subtraction, but also for addition. And then later in your life when you get into multiplication and division. Trust me, this is really important. I want you to understand, we've done some work on this, okay? But what I really want you to remember is this, that 42, we can turn, right? We can change it, even though it's got, it says 42, we don't have to leave four tens here. We can take one of these tens, this bag of 10 Skittles and open them up, right? There's 10 Skittles in there. So let's, I'm gonna open it up I'm gonna pour them out and out come the 10 Skittles out of that bag. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just putting them in a nice little rows here. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we, so we just, I just took this bag and I just poured them out. So now I still have 42 Skittles. But I have got three bags over here. That's 30. And over here I have 12 just random loose Skittles. But 30 and 12 still makes 42. Okay, but they're not all um, uh, packaged up as well as they could be. But I needed to do that so I can actually subtract the six Skittles so I can actually give um, my sister, uh, Michelle, Okay, one of my, I have three sisters, one of them is Michelle, uh, some Skittles. So now that I've emptied out one of the bags, okay, here I am with 12 Skittles. So now I can subtract. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's count. Let's say one, two, 
three, four, five, six. Okay, so I took away six. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to actually cross this off because I did that. That tells me I did that. So what am I left with? I'm still left with 30 and I have two, three, four, five, six. So 42 minus six equals 36. Okay. All right. Do you see what I did there? I was able to take 42 and turn it into three tens and 12 ones. I just took one of these tens and I emptied them out. Okay. I opened it up to get the Skittles out and that's fine. I can do that. It, that you are allowed to do that in order to subtract. And I got my answer. Okay, let's see how you're doing. I'm going to give you a problem to work on and then I'll review it. But you do need to work on it yourself. Otherwise, your brain will not grow. Okay. Um, the research, the science shows that if you just watch somebody do something, you do learn, but you don't learn as much as if you work on it yourself because you have to kind of struggle through it. The struggle you don't really want to do, but it's the important part. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you a problem. I'm going to leave uh, this up. You can you can go back and watch the video that I just did again. You can pa like pause it, okay, and work on this problem. So the problem I want you to work on, uh, let's do, um, I'm not sure, let me think about this for a second. All right, so I want you to do this problem, 32 minus 5. All right, I've already shown you the 32. You're going to subtract five. So your job right now is to pause the video and work on this problem doing exactly what I just did. You're, you're going to need to probably, right, because you, you're going to need to subtract five. You're going to probably need to open up one of these box, these packages of Skittles. Okay, so you've got 32 Skittles. You're trying to give five to your friend. How many are you going to end up once you've given away five? How many are you going to end up with? All right, so work on this now. Yes, you. Pause, stop the video, and then when you're done, come back and we'll go over it together. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, boys and girls, how'd you do? All right, how, how's it going? So, so you should have already worked on this. If you haven't, pause the video, do it now. But what we're looking at is trying to take, you know, if, if you had Skittles, if you have three bags of Skittles, right, three bags with 10 in each, and two Skittles, and you want to give five away. I want to give five to my sister. This time I'll give them to my other sister, Michaela. She's another sister of mine. Um, I'm like, well, I can give you these two, but I don't have, I'm going to have to open up one of these packages to give you five because I can't, I want to give you five, not just two. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take this, right? This is called regrouping. You, instead of having one group of 10, you have 10 ones. That's why it's called regrouping. So I'm going to take this bag of Skittles and pour them out. There's 10 in there, right? So here we go again. Let's pour out those 10. And now we have one, two, three, four, five. By the way, if you don't like Skittles, you can pretend like whatever you want. They can be like, I don't know, cookies or Starbursts or peanut butter cups. I mean, you can make it up. I just, you know, I, I like, actually, I'm not a huge fan of Skittles, but I'm more of a Starburst guy. But, um, but they kind of look like Skittles a little bit, although Skittles are round, right? So, you know, I'm doing my best here, boys and girls. All right, so we poured out one of the bags, right? So now we still have 32 Skittles. But since I poured one of the bags out, I've turned it into two bags of 10, so two 10s and 12 ones. So now I can give my sister five. Sure, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take those away. Okay, remember, we want to cross this off because we've done that. Okay, yes, we did that. Now, how many are we left with? Well, let's check it out. We have five, six, seven, and we still have two bags of 10, so that's 20. So we have 27. All right, there you have it. Okay, um, you're doing good. All right, let's do the next problem. All right, boys and girls, so let's take a look here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the same problem, right? Just like we did with addition, but without having to use these if you don't want, okay? These are always really good to use if they're helpful. Um, it takes longer, and by drawing them, it takes it takes a little bit less time, okay? It's a, it's a visual representation instead of an actual something you can touch. But if using these and moving these around works for you, then keep using them, please. It's awesome, okay? 
That's coming from the math coach. So you know it's you know it's the gospel if it's coming from me. Just kidding. Okay. So how would we solve this um, if we just had because for tomorrow when you do your independent work, um, this is what it's going to be looking like. Okay. So I'm going to do one, then I want you to try a couple. All right. So I would just do so. Remember one, two, three. Okay. I don't have to do anything special. That represents thirty. And then two, one, two. And here I'm gonna write minus five. All right, so again, what we just did, we can't take five away here, right? So I'm gonna open up one of these bags, okay? So I'm gonna cross that off, and instead, and I'm gonna cross that off, and I'm gonna take these, the 10 Skittles that are in this bag and put them over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I just poured out, this bag, and if, and if it's easier for you boys and girls, just erase it so it doesn't get confusing. Okay, just take your um, eraser and erase it if you're using um, the dry erase board. Um, otherwise, just, you know, just put a little X through it just so you know it's not there anymore. Okay, and we took this, draw a little arrow, and we made it into 10, so we poured out the 10 Skittles that were in that bag, and now they're over here in the ones place because they're all loose. Okay, so now we have two tens and 12 ones, which is great because now I can subtract. So take away five. So I'm just going to cross them off. One, two, three, four, five. So I did that. Okay, and I'm left with seven ones, and I still have two bags of 10 Skittles. So that's 20. So that's 27. So that equals 27. Okay, all right. So you. What I want you to do right now is um, in your math packet, you have this exact one, and you had it from last week too from addition, and you're gonna need your um, your marker and eraser, and that's it. When you have those materials, come back, and I'm gonna give you a problem to work on, okay? So get the materials if you haven't already, and then come back. All right, so you all set? Okay. So here's the problem I want you to work on. 73 minus 8. Okay? So you're going to draw out 73. You may not have enough 1s to take away 8, so you might have to do something, right? You know how to do it. So go ahead and do that now. So stop the video. So I stop talking. <laughs> and when you've tried this problem, okay, then come back. If you get, like, frustrated or confused, that's okay. Do your best. Remember, I'm going to keep saying it. As long as you're doing your best and paying attention, even if you're struggling and making mistakes, your brain's going to grow because we're going to go over it later and you can learn from it. Okay? All right. I'll see you in a couple minutes. All right. So did you do the problem yet? If you haven't, stop the video, do the problem, and then come back. I'll just sit here waiting for you to finish. That's all right. <laughs> all right. So you should have had... Uh, so let's say 70, is that 70? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's 73 minus 8. Okay, but, right, I have 73 Skittles. I want to give uh, my sister, I have another sister. Her name is Kia. I want to give her some Skittles, but it's hard to do. I, can't, I can give her these three, but in order to give her more, I need to open up one of these bags of 10. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to cross this one off, okay, and draw a little arrow. And put pour them out here. I'm going to pour out the 10 Skittles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so you see how I do it nice and neat? All right, if you get messy, boys and girls, you're going to, like, make mistakes. So nice and neat, nice and organized. Take your time. So now I'm going to subtract. Uh, now I'm going to give her 8 because I turned 73 into 6 10s and 13 1s. I still have 73. 60 plus 13 is still 73, but I changed how many 10s I have and how many 1s I have. Totally legal to do, okay? No one's going to, you're not going to get in trouble for this. Trust me, okay? So now I'm going to cross off 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I've done that, and I still have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 5 left over because 13 take away 8 is 5, and I still have 6 10s. Um, so that gives me 60. So my answer is 65. Okay, 73 minus 8 is 65. Is that what you got? If you did, then you're doing great. If you didn't, okay, but you tried your best 
and you just watched and you're starting 